This is why we need to keep your life total low. It's nothing against <laughs> you, it's all about the ring. Hello there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Commander Gameplay, we have some more Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth. This has been one of the most fun sets, you can tell because we've made a number of videos for it. I think you'll enjoy this one if you enjoyed the last of them as well. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. We have some really cool things coming in August to celebrate our three-year mark, as well as hopefully 15,000 subscribers. So make sure to be a subscriber. There's going to be a 24-hour event for subscribers and those that support us for giveaways and all kinds of cool things coming. And more importantly, get access to our shows every week. If you'd like to support us directly, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV or join here on YouTube where you can get access to our Discord, extra giveaways, deck help, and a bunch more. Hope to see you around the kingdom. With that, let's jump into our game today. I'm Jason R, and I'm playing Aragorn the Uniter. I'm just playing elves and men and coming together to slay some, what's it called? Servants of Sauron, right? Goblins. You gotta know who you're fighting, man. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I was gonna say the Dark Lord, but I was like, wait, that's Harry Potter. I think they say the Dark Lord. Yeah, Dark Lord yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You, can okay. you can get away with the Dark Lord. There's multiple Dark Lords. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Julian here. Um, I am playing Gollum, Obsessed Stalker. This is a weird black life gain deck. I'm looking to just hit everybody once and then start gaining life and draining them and hoping to be the last one standing when the dust settles. Everybody, Carlos here playing Peregrine Took, Fool of a Took. This is a mono green tokens deck. So there's probably mostly sapperlings, but there's a bunch of different type of tokens. I'm trying to make them, double them up, and get food along with them so that I can draw cards and make more tokens. I'm John M. I'm playing Witch King of Angmar. My lore tech in this is that I'm running eight copies of the Nazgul instead of nine, what's to say on the card, because the Witch King is one of them. It's based on getting treasure or getting creatures out for lethal damage. We'll see what happens. All right, Jason, take us away. Go for turn. Ooh, that changes things. Soaring. We're going to play a Verdant Catacombs. Pay a life. Tap this. Stack it. Searching for a forest card. It's going to be a Savannah. And then I will tap this for white and play Esper Sentinel, I, who is a, a human. There you go. Pass turn. I'll draw a card for turn. I'm going to play Snow Covered Swamp and uh, cast a Mana Crypt, not paying for tax. Okay. And then I draw will card. tap these uh, to cast Gollum, and I'll pass. Draw for turn, play Forest, play a Arbor Elf, and I cannot pay, and oh, it's a creature. It's uh, a creature. And it I'll is pass a creature. turn. We're getting our one ones out to block Gollum. <laughs> no. Yeah, about that. Uh, I'll draw for turn. <laughs> it should have been mono black. Then we would have been all mono black versus Aragorn. I'll play a swamp. I will also cast Mana Crypt. And I can't, I don't want to pay. So you can okay. draw again. Draw a card. And then I will tap for three to cast Black Market Connections. And sadly, it's not a creature though. Pass. <laughs> Gollum's well, prey. He only gets one a turn though, thankfully. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Untap, draw for turn, play a forest. And then pay two for nature's lore. Search for a forest card. And then I'll be done after that. Untap, upkeep, roll for crypt. Uh, odds will hurt. That hurts. Lose three. And then I will draw for turn. Play a snow covered swamp. Go to combat. And I'm coming at the only one who I can hit safely right now, which is John. I will take one. It's not his combat that hurts you, it's what happens after. It's the poison he sows into your mind. It's when he throws away your Lumbus bread. Yeah, you better watch out for your food tokens. I know. Uh, and then I'm going to tap for three and uh, cast Nashi, Moon Sages, wow. Scion. And I'll pass. Untap, draw. Let's play another forest. Man, I do not know what to do, actually. My commander cannot block it. Yeah, yeah. do you want to slow down your game plan? or? I'm, or... Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to try and keep a blocker the whole game. Because eventually, down. you'll probably want to <laughs> trade. But actually, trading for you is a little bad because then you'll have to replay your guy mm -hmm. every time you trade. There's pros and cons to both. I'm going to pass. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make uh, it unattractive, at least, for a second. Okay, I will untap upkeep. Uh, uh, for the purists out there, I'm going to actually flip a coin. So I drew like a poison symbol on here. If I get that, then I lose three life. I do not lose three life. Okay, draw for turn. Although real purists are probably gonna wonder if it's, uh, you know, if it's actually a 50-50 coin, right? Yeah. yeah. Was your flip um, high enough? 
one side is higher uh, weighted heavier. Right. I'll play Frexian Tower as my land for turn. Do you do something on your upkeep with that enchantment? Oh, sorry. Beginning of pre-combat main is when this kicks in. Oh, okay. I will actually make a treasure. So create a treasure and I will also draw a card. So I will lose three life off of that. We'll see how far that greed gets me. Uh, I will pay these four. I'll cast Tree of Perdition. Oh, wow. Boy. So I can block Golem that. now, <laughs> but it's too late, so it's fine. Whatever. Pass turn. <laughs> Jeez. Undap. Draw for turn. <laughs> yeah. Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth, into Gimli, Counter of Kills. My Red Core so Tower a is so trample. much better now. I, I was thinking that because I was in my opening hand. Uh, so whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, this deals one damage to that creature's controller. Oh, man, that's going to kill me faster. Pass turn. Untap, uh, upkeep, roll for crypt, odds hurt. Ow. That went off the screen. Oh, did it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was a five. So I Ooh. take three and I will draw for turn. Way to be honest, Julian. <laughs> yep. I'm going to make uh, you choose, Carlos. I'm going to attack you with both Nashi and Gollum, unless you want to just let Gollum come through. No way. I'll block on. All right. I will pay one for um, Undying Malice on Gollum uh, so that when he dies, this oh, turn sorry, 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 sorry. I am blocking, but I. I had a, a special version of blocking, so I oh. am uh, making a sapperling, a 1-1 one, one sapperling, with Sprout Swarm, and I'm, okay, I'm gotcha. blocking with that. I'm just going to block uh, Golem with a sapperling. All right, so Nash is going to get through. Okay, well, I will tap one and uh, cast Undying Malice on Golem, so he will survive trading with the... Or, well, he'll die, but he'll come back tapped with a 1-1 one, one counter on him. Take three. Golem will die and come back, and Nashi will trigger. When Nashi deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of each player's library. Until the end of turn, I can cast one of those cards using life instead of mana. Planes. Arcane Signet. Lionel Elves. Interesting. I guess I will take the Signet. I'll lose two life, and I'll get a Signet. Yeah, I really don't want that tree coming at me, so I think I'm going to tap four and give Gollum what he's wanted all along. I'm going to cast <laughs> one ring, paying the one for Esper Sentin. Oh, uh, I should have uh, paid the one for Arcane Signet. Signet. Yeah, uh, which which I do have a mana, so I'll pay for that. I will gain protection from everything until my next turn. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to just go ahead and tap it now. So I'll put a burden counter on it and draw a card. And then I will pass the turn. I'll untap, draw for turn, play a Reliquary Tower, Forest, Tower in the Forest. So now things can block Golem that have two power? Yep. Let's uh, throw out a Paragon Took then. Pass turn. Hey, I will um, tap upkeep for Mana Crypt. I don't take three again. Must be nice. <laughs> to be honest, it's pretty sweet. Yes. So I'll draw first, and then Black Market Connections will trigger. Uh, I will make another treasure, and I'll also draw a card. We're basically Let's dead, Jason. Get what I get. Between trees and Golem, yes. <laughs> well, Gollum hasn't touched you guys yet. That, that's the issue. To avoid the, the plague, I'll play a swamp for turn. I'll use Tree of Perdition's ability. I'll use it on Jason. Of course. So I'm at 13, right? Yes. yes. And this is an O39. <laughs> <laughs> then... There's just ways to win right now. Just go for it. Attack it. Deal us 39 damage each, you know? Uh, yeah, let's go for that, actually. No, no, I'll no, no, no. Use Frexian Tower. I was joking. He's he's still a protection from everything. Oh, I know. I can't I can't touch uh, Julian yet. Okay. I will sacrifice this for two black, and then I will use that to cast Gorbag of Minas Morgul. Whenever a goblin or orc you control deals combat damage to a player, you can sacrifice it. When you do, oh, and I take one from Gimli. Actually, I just totally remember that. Thank you for remembering my triggers. <laughs> about revenge. Uh, when it deals damage to combat damage to a player, I can sacrifice it. If I do, I can draw a card or create a treasure. Two and a swamp. I will cast treasure chest. I can pay four to sacrifice it and roll a d20. If I get a one, I lose three life. Two through nine, I create five treasure. It's Ten through nineteen, I gain three life and draw three cards. If I get a twenty, I search my library for a card. If it's an artifact, it goes onto the battlefield. Otherwise, it can go in my hand. I'll use this last black to cast reanimate on Tree of Perdition. All right. I had a feeling. <laughs> you know, yep. I'll lose four life, and I did not pay the one for Esper Sentinel on the treasure chest. So you can draw on that. Uh, and then that's what I got. Pass. Oh, I feel for you, Jason. And uh, uh, keep cry. So we'll just play Spar's headquarters. 
gonna pay two and I'm gonna exile Spara's Adjudicators from my hand. I can pay two and exile this from my hand, target lane gains tap, add green, white, or blue until this is cast from exile, and then I can cast this from exile at another turn. Oh, for as long as it remains exiled. So I'm gonna target this forest. We'll tap it for blue, and I'm gonna cast Birthday Escape. So I'm gonna draw a card. The ring tempts me. My ring bearer will be... Does it really matter? That's percent uh, no. Not really. Probably not whichever one you know. Whichever one you're gonna block with, the other one. That does make sense. That's my turn. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. There's some pain coming my way. First one to roll for crypt. Odds hurt. Do you mind Finally. indicating Ooh. the um, ring some other way, Jason? Just like an infinity oh. token or something? Just because that is usually like a plus one counter of some kind. Yeah, I'll go grab my ring for one second. Yeah. And then I will lose a life for the bird encounter on one ring. And then I will draw for turn. Well, nice. speaking of, I'm going to tap it, put a bird encounter on it, and draw two cards. I'll play Swamp. I've wanted to cast this card for like ever. So uh, I'm going to tap five and I'm going to cast Clackbridge Troll. Yes. <laughs> it's a five mana, eight, eight with trample and haste. When it enters, target opponent creates three, zero, one white goat creature tokens. Who do I want to give the goat tokens to? Like, you, not given me. To me I'd that'd be get weird. An extra food, I think. Yeah, you get an extra food, uh, which is so, so like you get food. bonus value from it. I guess for the sake of because Jason took the hit for us, I guess I'll give the goats <laughs> to Jason. <laughs> okay. And I will go to my combat step. I'll sacrifice a goat so that John starts losing some life. Thank you. That will be tapped. I will gain three life and I will draw a card. That's an interesting card with Golem. Yeah. That's great. Man, being the only guy hit by Gollum, that's going to arguably uh, kill me. I've been basically doing nothing just to try and get, <laughs> keep myself that way. And, and it sucks that Gollum can't even really trade with anything. Like, he's just kind of sitting back. He'll kill a goat. Well, but the thing is, if I attack with him, John probably blocks with Gorbag and kills him. No, if you attack Jason. W uh, doesn't Gimli just kill it? Gimli is a 4-3. Yeah. You can't block it. So he has Skulk, right? Oh, I forgot about that. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, so sure, sure. Kill a goat, sure, yeah, yeah. You know, at least. Okay, sure, sure. Jason, I'll, I'll, I'll come at you with uh, Gollum and Peregrine Took is a two three. I guess I'll come at you with Nashi, Carlos. Well, Gollum likes his fresh, wriggly meat, so here's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Yes, um, I'll take it. <laughs> Carlos will take three, and uh, Nashi will trigger, so everyone will reveal the top card of the library, and I can cast one. Chromatic Lantern. Knight's Whisper. Centaur's Ooh. Glade. What is Centaur's Glade? Creates tokens with yeah. green mana. It's literally the card I wanted to play the most. It's super oh, terrible. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I played this one um, game earlier, like on someone else's stream with this, and they also got rid of it. I was just like, how oh, is this always happening? No, it's not, it's not that great of a card, but it, I just love it from back in the day so much. I guess I just cast Knight's Whisper. I'm going to play two. this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to lose two life and then another two life. Do you pay one for Esper Sentinel? Oh, uh, no, you can draw. Okay. So I'm going to lose four life, draw two cards. I'm going to discard a Kirik, son of Yagmoth, I think. <laughs> what is in uh, that hand? <laughs> I don't want to be losing. Well, it's like he doesn't do much for me because I have a feeling my life total is going to be significantly reduced fairly soon. But that's um, the point. He gains you life. Oh, he has lifelink, huh? Yeah, he has lifelink, but like he makes me pay life to cast spells and stuff, so... May as well do it and get close to 13 as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. And I will oh. pass the turn. So end step, I'll lose three life. All right. Here's the thing. I feel a little bad. And maybe you knew this, but I was going to be so jealous if you were making centaurs, and I couldn't. <laughs> but he has Yabamaya <laughs> out, so you could have um, oh, yeah. made centaurs. Oh, I could have made centaurs, yeah. Started, yeah, that's true. yeah. I, I don't know if you would want to, but I was just like, I'm leaving it here. I'm not saying anything <laughs> either way. Uh, uh, I'll draw for turn. No, I, I couldn't have taken your centaurs from you, Carlos. It just wouldn't have been right. It's, no, it would have been okay. I would have been very jealous, though. So. Forest return. Oh, wait. Before forest. Yeah, I'm playing a tireless provisioner first. Then I'll play a forest. And the provisioner will trigger. I think I'm getting a treasure. Yeah, I'll get a treasure and a food. I will play another dork. Fendhorn elves. 
unfortunately, that's all I can do. I'll pass turn. End of your turn. I'm going to the infernal grasp the tree. Straight target uh, creature, lose two life. I was wondering. Do you pay one? I cannot pay one. Draw a card. I'll move to my turn and untap. Upkeep for mana crypt. So I don't take damage on that. Opposites over here. <laughs> hey, I will draw for turn. Gollum's never had the easy life. Oh, it's mostly his own fault. Black market connections will trigger. I will create a treasure and draw a card and lose three life. Did oh. you take a damage from Gimli with your your creature? Oh, no, nope, I did not. Destroyed? I did not. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I will play a swamp for turn. I'll activate the treasure chest. Ooh. I will pay four. I'll sacrifice it and roll a d20. <laughs> 11. Plus three. Plus three. <laughs> Gains three life and draws three cards. Not there bad. Jeez. One, two, three. Uh, I will use my three treasure and these two. I will cast Witch King of Angmar. Mm. It's a 5-3 flying. Whenever one or more creatures deal combat damage to me, each opponent sacrifices a creature that dealt combat damage to me this turn, and the ring tempts me. I can discard a card to give him indestructible until end of turn. And then he taps. Uh, combat, I'll attack Julian for two. That's fair. So I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Okay, we'll play a Vine Glimmer Snarl, and I'm going to reveal an island card. So it enters untapped. It's Hollowed Fountain that I revealed. So we'll cast Arag Aragorn the Uni uh, Uniter. Aragorn the Uniter. I can say his name properly. And how many cards do you have in hand, Julian? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. You have the one ring. John, how many cards? I have seven. That's a lot. You don't care about me? <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, how many cards do you have? <laughs> uh, I only have three cards. Uh, I guess I may as well get an attack in, right? Julian coming at you for four. All right, take four. Okay, and pass. Untap. Uh, upkeep. Roll for crypt. Two. Okay, nice. We're starting to get Oof. on the good side. Uh, lose two life from the run ring. And I will draw a card. Play an Urza Saga. It's not like I'm not going to draw from the ring. So I'm going to tap it, put a burn counter on it, draw three cards, go to combat. Spike Bridge Troll. Does anybody want to sacrifice a creature? Otherwise, uh, <laughs> he will be rearing to go. I'll sacrifice a goat. Gain three life. Draw a card. Okay, yeah. Aragorn can't block Colum. So, uh, Jason, I'm going to come at you with Colum. Do I live life on the edge and attack Carlos with this? You could probably get away with attacking John with it, just to give you a little preview. Well, 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 he can make his commander indestructible. Yeah. Oh, but oh, but then but then he has to tap it, and then Carlos can get in. Oh yeah, I'm going for John. I would block it first and then make it indestructible. But by making it indestructible, it taps, and so Carlos could hit you if he wanted to. Oh, um, yeah, that's fair. I, I think that you can, can attack me for sure, but I think having a blocker makes it so, like, last round you got hit twice for sort of nothing. You know what I mean? Oh, I know, I know. You I have to, to decide if, if... Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess yeah. you have mana to play with. Just go after John. It's fine. John is a son of perdition in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bitter. It's fine. Yeah, Carlos, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come at you with Nashi. Okay. Hey, before blockers, is that final? Yes, yeah, that's that's, that's final stuff going on. Going to source the plowshares, the Witch King of Agmar. Ooh. Okay. Exile. And then he'll gain life equal to his power. Whenever I cast a white spell, I will create a 1-1 one, one human soldier. Ah, nice. Okay. I will block Gollum with that soldier. Beautiful. Okay. Carlos, what you doing with the Nashi? Should have trusted me, Julian. I'm sorry. Um, I, yeah, okay, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know what what you had up your sleeves. <laughs> yes, it's probably worth. I'll chump it it's for one. Okay, I'm gonna cast a Kakusho. Yeah, here, Jason. I'm just gonna keep on giving you cards. I'm gonna cast new as always, Chute. Okay, I will draw. Then I'm gonna go to the end of my turn. Uh, Gollum's gonna trigger and drain John for three. Legit with Gollum is amazing. Because it doesn't add a bonus to his power until exactly. later. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, and well, you and, can and, and, and you can just remove the counters. You just gain life. life. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that so much. Let's see. I will discard a Witch of the Moors, and I'll pass. Untap. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Gingerbread Cabin. It'll get me a food, and then a food, and then a treasure. You get three food. Yeah, I get three food and a treasure. Hey, your first card draw. Ooh, I can do it, finally. And then I'll put a 
squirrel nest on this forest. So now he can block Gollum whenever he wants. I know. I wanted to get it out, just, but I couldn't. <laughs> I guess my three, two. Am I ever going to block with it? Probably not. So let's send three at John. I'll take three. And that will be all for me. I will untap. Flip for Mana Crypt. Okay, still don't take it. Draw for turn. Okay, Black Market Connections will trigger. I'm still running with it, so I'll just keep doing that. One treasure for one life, and I'll draw a card for another two life. These black decks are really greedy. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing Gollum. I have to be greedy. And the Witch King is also pretty greedy. Okay. Peregrine's pretty chill. I'll tap for six. I'm going to cast Voracious Fell Beast. ETB, each opponent sacrifices a creature. I'll create a food for each creature sacrificed this way. Carlos, did you take a damage when your elves died? Sorry. I'm not taking it. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'll get rid of Vesper Sentinel finally. I will respond to that spell by oh, okay. tapping this land, making a squirrel. It will then also make me a food. Then it will die. I will sacrifice Kakusho, I guess. Five life? I had a feeling that might happen, but that's okay. Yeah, five life. Better for you on his your turn than his turn. Uh, Carlos in it, and Julia takes the damage. I'll sack my treasure and this black mana. I'll cast the Marching Duo Drone. When it attacks, each player creates a treasure. To combat, Julian's open. I'll attack for two. I will take the two. And I will actually sacrifice him after combat damage to draw a card. And I'll take one from Gimli. I will pass turn. All right, Aragorn. Hey. Time to shine. And up. Upkeep. Draw for turn. Fire Garden. We'll enter untapped. It would be like a, the weakest ability if Aragorn gained life, but it would be so nice for you right now. I uh, know. That's true. Okay, I'm going to attack Julian for nine. Mm. Okay, that's fair. And five commander damage. Okay, now I can do this properly. We're going to cast Spiteful Banditry for real this time, where X equals four. What does it do? I should have so prepared for this. So when it enters the battlefield, it. four damage to each creature. Oh, come on. Whenever one or more creatures my opponents control die, I create a treasure token. This ability triggers only once each turn. Gimli is going to see each of your creatures die, so you'll each take that much damage, however many dies. I take two. I will respond. Okay. I'm going to untap this four. I was going to get two squirrels a turn. I'm going to untap the squirrel. It's nest. Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to no, live no, here, Carlos. Fine. I'm just <laughs> um, that'll give me a squirrel and a food. Oh no, sorry, I don't do that yet. I don't want to take the damage. I don't want to save the squirrel. But just untap it. Maybe that's all I do. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of three uh, food and draw a card. And if you make that squirrel token, you can draw another card. I know, that'll be it though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and when I cast a red spell, Julian will take three damage. <laughs> hey man, I gave you those goats. <laughs> you jumped all the way back up to 38 life. Or 39 I know, or I know, I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> so you lose one okay. for each creature that died? Yeah, so now you guys each take a damage for each creature that died. Okay, and then I'll use this treasure and this land to play Incubation Druid. I'll give your troll plus four plus four until end of turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to troll you. Uh, Pass. Lovely. Okay, well there went all the life I just gained. Uh, untap, upkeep, I will roll for crypt. Well, all of my work Safe. drew me one I, extra card, so... I don't think I took two, I'm gonna take two. And then I will take the three for the one ring. It's after my draw step, so I will draw for turn. This will go to its second step. What's one more life? I'm gonna draw four cards. <laughs> that's that's disgusting. This is why we need to keep your life total low, Julian. It's nothing against you. It's all about the ring and that no, regardless I, of it. I understand. <laughs> I absolutely understand. One, two, three, four for Whip of Erebus. Go to combat. Sacrifice my elf. You're gonna do it. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice my elf. I'm just saying, if you don't do that and I hit John, I can play my commander and kill him. So if you don't attack me this turn, then sure, I won't sacrifice my creature. Okay, I'll, so... I'll sack uh, a squirrel. Okay, so I will gain three and draw a card. Pay two, pay this creeping bloodsucker. At the beginning of my upkeep, uh, deals one damage to each opponent, and I gain life equal to how much damage that was. You'll gain twice life, right? Because it has lifelink. Oh, correct. Yes, yeah, yeah, it is actually dealing the damage. Oh, I didn't think about that. That is cool. I will pay black and cast reanimate on Kakusho. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so I will lose six, and then I will discard a Sign in Blood, a Night's Whisper, and Snow Covered Swap. 
and I will pass. Alrighty, untap, draw, play a force return, play Peregrine Took. Yeah, that'll be it. I'll pass. Hey, I will untap, upkeep, mana crypt. I take three. Draw for turn. Black market connections will trigger. Uh, since life has become a bit more precious, I'm just going to draw a card. Lose two life. Uh, I will play Minas Morgul as my land for turn, which is Cabal Coffers. I will cast the Witch King for the second time. Uh, that's all I got. Pass. I need to discard down to hand size. I have eight cards, so I'll just discard a Swamp and pass. And up. Draw for turn. Going to play an Island. Going to cast Aven Wind Guide. Flying in Vigilance. Creature tokens I control have Flying in Vigilance. Embalm for six mana. When I cast a white spell, I get a 1-1 one, one, uh, human soldier token. And then I scry two when I cast a blue spell. Those can both go to the bottom. So I'm going to cast Broker's Ascendancy. At the beginning of my end step, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature I control and a loyalty counter on each planeswalker I control. But I cast a white spell, so I get a human. I cast a blue spell, so I get to scry two. Keep that on top and this to the bottom. And green spell, a creature gets plus four plus four. So that'll be Aragorn. Okay, well, we're just going to attack Julian for nine, I think. Is that the right answer, guys? Yes. Maybe. Question mark? Okay, Julian, we're coming at you for nine, Commander. Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, yeah. I'll block with Kukusho. Okay, so you gain five off of combat, right? And then we each take five. <laughs> we all take five. <sighs> okay, oh, back oh. up to 35. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of turn, I will put a 1-1 one, one counter on all of my creatures. Oh, and I make a treasure token when your creature dies. If you're going to oh, yes. use food, John, it's probably better to do it now. Because he might have, like, responses to things. Before he untaps. Like, on his turn. Oh, that's a good call. If you're going to use the food. I'm going to use the food. That was the end of my turn. Uh, so, untap... Um, upkeep, a few things. I will go. I'll, I'll have Creeping Bloodsucker trigger first. So each of you loses one, and uh, I will gain six, three from the Whip of Erebos and three from the Bloodsucker itself. Um, and then I will roll for Crypt, and I will take the three. Ah, you're below your starting life total. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I will lose another four from the one ring. Okay, and then I will draw, and then Urza Saga will trigger. I'll tap it for a mana. Then it'll sack. I'm going to get Expedition Map. Spend another to crack the Expedition Map. Go and find High Market and put it into my hand. This is how John and I die. Well, just so you are sure, just so you know, oh. the, the Kukusho oh, wait, only yeah. works one time. Well, it, yeah, no, wait a minute. Like it, it, because of how the whip reads, like that, you're not killing him with Kukusho. Oh, because it won't die. It'll be exiled. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. High market I still won't think work. high market's probably a good option for you, for you know, with with other things that you have. But uh, it's not gonna. Not, not really, actually. Well, it just allows you to like redo any creature you have. I don't think that's actually the right okay. thing to do. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're totally right. It. Uh, I thought I could sack it. Yeah, because it just, it just replaces any death effect with exile. So yeah, oh, mm -hmm. it's not gonna work. All the newer ones uh, do that. I'll get a Nykthos, I guess. I will play Nykthos. Okay, uh, pay two to cast Basilica Screecher. So yeah, tap for six, I guess. Cast Golem for four, and then extort once, so I have one floating. Cast Gifted Aetherborn, extorting once Aww. as well. Okay, so now that Jason's gone, uh, I will go to combat, and does anybody want to sacrifice a creature to tap my troll? Sure. Second squirrel. Draw a card. Uh, gain three life. Good luck, Carlos. <laughs> Good luck, Carlos. <laughs> no, I, I'm dead. I only have three cards in the end. John. Be a prediction. No, I'm, I'm dead at end step. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will go to my end step and start discarding. Golem trigger, trigger golem, on the yeah. stack. Was it like 20 yeah, life? No response. What would you gain this turn? 20 life or something? Well, six, six from the bloodsucker. So yeah, I think it's 12, 12 life. life. Oh yeah, that's right. And yeah. then the, the troll... Oh, yeah. So 15. 15 life. Wow. All right. I'm going to discard uh, three swamps and Erebos, God of the Dead, and Rapacious Guest. And you may go ahead, Carlos. Here we go. I'm just going to draw another land, though. I just feel it. Feel it in my bones. Draw for turn. Uh oh, it's not land. 
I'll play a forest. It's land's return. Okay, Feasting Troll King. Oh, I love that card. <laughs> I, I feel like it's on theme because you have your troll in the same world. Um, he comes in with three t- foods if I cast him from my hand. So I get four foods. Um, I can sack three foods to bring him back. I feel like he's a good buddy with Peregrine Took. Your troll's bigger than my troll. It's unfortunate. Mine's a noble troll, though. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Mine's a filthy commoner yeah, troll. Yeah, stay under that bridge. <laughs> I think that's it. I'll pass. Let's see. Untap, upkeep, uh, roll for crypt. That's a two, so I don't take damage, but I will take five for one ring. Creepy Bloodsucker will trigger. You'll take one, and I'll gain two. And then I will draw for turn. Does your Arcane Signet go away now that John is gone? It does. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. it does. Yeah, thank you. I will tap this and draw six cards. <laughs> I think we <laughs> saw the value of the, the one ring this game. Debuting the one ring and golems. This is precious. <laughs> so gross. pretty awesome pairing. I'll play a Cabal Coffers. I want to try to kill you with the with the Golem trigger if I can, which everything is lifelink. So the only thing that could really block Golem would be the Squirrel token. So I guess first off, I'm going to go to combat. Do you want to sack a creature to the troll? Yeah. That freaking troll, man. I'll make a Squirrel and I'll draw a card. Go up to seven, down to four. Sack the Took. Okay, so this tapped. Gained three life. Draw a card. So now that you have that squirrel out there, I'm going to instant speed, snuff out, pay the extort. So I'll lose four, but extort will deal one to you and I'll gain one. Then we're going to come at you with all the guys, I guess. So uh, you can't block Golem, I don't think. There's a 2-3 two, th- uh, two, and a 1-2 that you can block. This other one's a 1-1 one, one, or a 1-2 flyer. Yeah, I'll block the 1-2. All right, so you'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, and I will gain 4. You also gain from the blocked oh. creature, too. Uh, yeah, I will gain 5. And that'll be it. I don't have anything. <laughs> so That's 11. Yep. Yeah, I will go to my end step, and uh, Golem will take you out. I, I liked Golem. It's really cool, actually, because I don't like a lot of the just mono black suicide draw until I get like a combo and kill everyone. Like, I wanted it to be a bit more grindy, and this may be actually the mono black deck that I keep around. Well, what another fun game. We really do love this set. We're even thinking of doing one more gameplay video from Lord of the Rings. Is that too much? Do you want to see more? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, a big shout out to our King patrons, Jordan Ritchie, Worthy Glover, you both rule. We have awesome Samurai patrons, Morton Christensen and LDAP. And if you're looking to play with us on, and be actually in a game, you too can become a Samurai. So consider checking that out. And as always, keep it nerdy.